good morning guys hope you're well uh, yeah wasn't expecting to find this this morning I really wasn't so I've come out this morning to actually do a bit of scouting because tomorrow's forecast is for fog until around about 10 o'clock in the morning and we don't get a lot of foggy conditions in the area that I live in uh, they're few and far between especially this time of year when we've got these beautiful autumn colors as well so I've come out this morning to do some scouting ready for tomorrow and hopefully shoot a video tomorrow. But conditions this morning are absolutely amazing. They really are. Clear skies, a nice nice dosing of mist as well. The light is just breaking through the trees here on the left-hand side um, of my scene, which I've just composed and just lighting up the trees in the background. And these beautiful colours we've got here in these beech trees just absolutely amazing so yeah I've been really quick to uh, sort out my composition you might have just seen me uh, getting it together there um, and it's a quite a simple composition I've got beech tree here which is the main subject and it's framing uh, the background pines and in the background as well behind the pines there's a, another beech tree which is just adding a splash of color to the background now here I've got this uh, road which mud track if you like which leads down through this line of beech trees and it's formed this uh, ridge if you like on the left hand side where all the the, the the gnarly roots have grown along and creates this natural foreground element to the scene which is really really nice I really like that and um, so I've framed this up at f8 and that's given me sharpness in the roots down here the main tree in the background and it's given me sharpness in these pines and because we've got that mist and that separation this morning the uh, everything beyond that is soft anyway so i'm not too worried about anything beyond those pines as long as i can get that in focus that sharp that's all that really matters i think and uh, yeah i'm able to do that at f8 um, i'm at a third of a second uh, shutter speed is really not important this morning as you can probably tell there's not a breath of wind here and what i'm doing is i'm just taking a few shots as the sun comes up so it's only just risen and We've got this band of golden light which runs through the background. I've just been really careful not to lose any highlights. And as that sun comes up, I might just quicken my shutter speed up a little bit. So I'm going to go from a third of a second to a quarter of a second. The histogram on the back of the camera looks fantastic. And I'm going to take another shot now, just a slightly darker exposure. When the sun's hitting those trunks of those trees in the background, obviously it's very, very bright but it's a beautiful golden tone to it, it really does. Uh, those highlights are often very white, but here, yeah, very orange and very golden. So yeah, really, really wonderful. And this beech tree we've got here, actually is quite interesting because it splits in two, which is, which is quite, you know, quite interesting in itself. But the right hand side of it is very much green, the foliage is very much green, but we've got this sort of dangling limb to the left hand side which is very, very orange and golden, which frames the shot to the left-hand side. So we've got that natural framing. The pines in the background, what I've tried to do is just position myself so the trunks of those uh, pines are separated as best as I possibly can. And we've got three very prominent ones, actually, uh, which are the nearest ones to, to the shot, to the camera. Um, so three is obviously a good number. And on the right-hand side as well, I've also got three beech trees. So you know it's kind of working in threes I think that works quite well and like I mentioned before that splash of orange in the background there with the the beech tree uh, looks really really nice now I'm including some sky actually in this shot and uh, something I try to avoid actually quite a lot when I'm in the woodland but today because we've got that mist that transition between the dark foliage you know the deep dark wood if you like into the sky is a lot softer so I'm actually able to allow some of the sky to creep into this image which is allowing me to shoot wider which is really really nice so the area I live in is quite flat so there's not that many uh, you know hilly woodlands around us and obviously in a hilly woodland you can get a different perspective you can shoot down or you can use a hill to shoot against and eliminate sky here I don't have that too often and uh, I'm always sort of battling with the sky elements in my scene, especially when uh, conditions are not misty. But today, absolutely beautiful, it really is. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to dwell too much longer on this shot. I think uh, it's probably going to be time for me to uh, take this one, settle with it, 
and uh, move on see if I can find another shot because over there there's some lovely beautiful beech trees that um, yeah quite fancy taking a shot of as well so yeah well just uh, you never can tell can you you know you, you you come out on a scouting mission and you get amazing conditions so yeah it's always worth getting out if you uh, yeah you're unsure anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot two second timer I'm at about 20 mil focused on the beech tree quarter of a second absolutely beautiful Wow, what a uh, what a crazy like 15 minutes that was. The light just broke through the canopy and just these rays of light just going absolutely everywhere. I uh, <laughs> I got a little bit uh, carried away and took a few snapshots. Not something that I normally do, but it was yeah the light was just going crazy. You know sometimes when it's like that you just can't help but just taking a few shots in quick succession. And I just found some pockets of light where the light was just hitting. Uh, some of the leaves and these shafts of light coming through and it, you know it's a really interesting subject so I just grabbed a couple of a uh, couple of quick ones that actually but sometimes they can be <laughs> they can be the ones that you like the best can't they anyway um, I've moved a bit further down this track and actually all of this morning's photography was being in literally within a space of about 20 yards it really has um, I've got this avenue of beech trees here which line this old mud road um, I've got two in particular that I really like the look of they're framing some pine trees behind but what we've got we've got this light now which is more uh, to the side and it's coming across uh, from the sort of rear right hand side of the scene through and it's creating these shafts of light which obviously uh, with the mist there it's really illuminating those beams of light so we've got those coming through the trees in the background and that's just adding some light into the background as well um, the foliage on these beech trees is absolutely stunning, it really is. It's, it's, I think what it is, is there's just a mixture of colours. We've got the greens, we've got the yellows and oranges. We've got the carpet of beech leaves on the floor which have already fallen, which is amazing. The green mossy uh, roots on these trees is absolutely fabulous as well. And the light is absolutely stunning, it really is. So what I'm doing, I've zoomed in quite a bit. Again, I'm at about 65 mil. So I've taken myself away uh, quite far, zoomed in at 65 mil, and that's really uh, not, uh, it's allowing me not to incorporate too much sky because now the sky is becoming a lot brighter than it was earlier. Um, so I really want to try to eliminate that sky as much as possible. Still got some bits creeping in, but the mist is, uh, yeah, it's dissipating somewhat. And uh, I'm going to just quickly take a shot now. There's a beautiful beam of light actually in the background, so I'm just going to quickly take a shot now. Again, two second timer as always, a uh, quarter of a second, ISO 200. Oh, that's beautiful, really, really nice. So, going back to my composition, that the beech tree that I've got here, the leaves are sweeping from the right hand side of the frame across through the scene, um, which essentially you know allows your eye to wander to the left hand third and in that left hand third there's two pine trees which lean towards each other and they're central between the two beech trees that I've got so 
there's some natural framing going on but it's the light in the background that really draws your eye through the scene and uh, again it's forever changing and that beam of light is absolutely fabulous right now I'm just going to quickly take another one as it moves through the scene because obviously yeah, as the sun's moving or the clouds moving or the mist moving in front of the sun those beams of light are changing and really adding another dimension to the scene and uh, what it's doing right now is illuminating all of those dying ferns that are in the background and casting some wonderful side light to those three pine trees that are now prominent in the scene so initially there was only two but as that light changes it's illuminating some others in the scene as well which is uh, really making a very interesting background so you're yeah, absolutely beautiful beautiful colors here this morning in this woodland really really stunning just taking another shot now guys as that light changes so oh i take quite a um measured approach i guess to my photography but this morning as and quite often when the light is changing rapidly it's just good to take a succession of images as that light changes um, you know you really don't want to wait for the best moments and then you know wish you'd have taken a shot earlier when those best moments are perhaps past so you know taking three or four shots over a period of 15 to 20 minutes as that light changes can really really be beneficial for capturing you know the best moment in the scene so I'm just constantly evaluating everything as the light changes I'm looking at my histogram on the back of the camera there to make sure nothing is clipping um, I'm checking out my highlights in the top of the scene as well to make sure you know they're not becoming too obvious within the scene and be you know detracting your eye because obviously the eye is always drawn to the lighter parts of the image and you really don't want to be uh, sending the viewer to um, an area within the image that you don't really want them to go to so yeah I'm always trying to evaluate the the scene on the back of my camera as that light changes so yeah I think <laughs> oh, what an amazing morning it really is uh, this morning just uh, just goes to show you doesn't it let's take this one What an incredible few hours I've had down here this morning, guys. Really, really enjoyable. Just gonna grab my coffee. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Not a breath of wind. Really quite yeah, atmospheric, misty conditions with that light coming through. Absolutely perfect for woodland photography. So <laughs> I hope I made the most of it uh, while I was down there in that beach avenue. Fantastic colors there, really, really nice. Um, the sun's risen quite a bit now and what's left of the mist is dissipated and uh, I'm going to spend another few hours here actually scouting to see if I can find some subjects that I can come back to in the next few days. But uh, before I go I'd just like to tell you about, um, you might have saw me earlier uh, composing my shot with my phone. Well, I've found this app actually, it's uh, really quite uh, handy. I'm not affiliated with it in any way. Um, they didn't pay me to say this, but I just come across it and thought you guys might like it too. It's called uh, the, let me get this right, Magic Universal Viewfinder app. And uh, yeah, essentially it lets you put your camera model into the, uh, the, the software there, and then that'll give you the field of view, the angle of view, and the focal length for any desired focal length. So you can, uh, zoom into your scene and it'll give you that field of view which is really really helpful um, you can put in whatever camera you've got so it does the fuji x-t3 um, but if you're shooting 35 millimeter film it'll do that or four by five or full frame so there's a whole host of different cameras that you can select so it'll give it uh, give you a very specific uh, uh, view for composing your shot for the camera that you're using so essentially that saves you getting your camera out of your bag every five minutes trying to compose a shot and that really can help you be 
really, really efficient when you're scouting and looking around for compositions, especially when the conditions are really, really good and it's a you know a location that you haven't been to before as well. You can just keep the phone in your hand and you can use that to you know position where you want to be and then set your camera gear up and uh, you know essentially save you time, be, help you be more efficient when you're composing your images which I think will help probably, well it's helped me be more efficient and help me get more shots especially today when I've only had a few hours of that lovely misty sunny condition so that's really helped me today. Um, yeah I think it's about five quid in the app store but you know like I said before I think it's well worth it and uh, might be worth you guys checking it out if you haven't done so already or maybe use a different app if you do let me know uh yeah fantastic morning anyway guys i'm going to call it a day for the vlog like i said before i'm going to continue scouting see what else i can find until next week guys take care and i'll see you soon